We believe that a very different society is possible. We believe that you know, when the community realises just the fact that we are a community and then demands that the resources that exist in our society are used towards meeting the needs of the community and achieving environmental sustainability, we'll have that change happen. So some of the things we're taking into this election, we want free education, we want free healthcare, we want a decent public transport system, we want an immediate transition towards 100% renewables, we want people to have the access to decent public housing, housing is a right, and ironically, we must put, no, a tragic irony is that in Australia and around the world, there are more vacant houses than there are homeless people. You know, there's absolutely no need for this situation to continue. We want to end all anti-worker and anti-union um, bills and legislation and allow people to collectively organize to fight back for their rights. We want equal pay for women. We want equal marriage rights to be put immediately. None of this plebiscite business, which is all about going through the process, spending heaps of money, and it's non-binding anyway. The, the vast majority of people in Australia already believe in equal marriage. You know, in, in a democracy, that would have already been put in place. We need to fight for that democratic culture to exist. When people talk about public health care, talk about renewable energy, there's always this question of, well, how are you actually going to pay for that? Now, it's not a question in Australia or around the world to ask, where is the money going to come from? The question is, where is that money going now? Yeah. Right? We already live in a society where the, the resources there, the material exists to have this transition made. But it does exist in the bank accounts in the hands of a very small number of corporations, which are not accountable to the community. You know, the only way that we're actually going to have to see that change happen is when enough people, the majority of people, actively participate in reclaiming that wealth that they themselves have produced and putting it to human and social needs. Not submarines. Not submarines, exactly that. And obviously, the Socialist Alliance is a small party. But even if we were in government, even if we had the majority of parliament, that wouldn't be enough to actually achieve the society in which we want to achieve. Because so long as a handful of people or a minority have decision making, then we're not, well, no, that's not a social transformation. That still says, you go away and fix things and we'll sit as spectators. We want, well we need the active participation of the members of the community so that decision making can be taken back to the grassroots, to the shop floor, to the street level, so that those communities can identify what their needs are, and they're actually in the best place to, to meet those needs. So we need to significantly democratize our society and take away decision-making decision -making power from minorities and bring that to a local level. So people with, with that sort of in mind, you might ask why we're we running in this election. And obviously social science is still very much a small party. I mean, our main thing is to say, we are running in this election to win, but before we win, the actual campaign itself is a fantastic platform to get these ideas out and to look people in the eye and say this is a practical way in which you can, in the here and the now, take action. You can vote for us, you can join us, you can letterbox for us, you can raise these ideas. And even in joining in this debate, we are entering into what has up until quite recently been the realm of either pro-corporate parties or parties that don't have a clear anti-corporate agenda or a socialistic agenda. You know, there are parties out there who mean well, but they don't have a vision as to how society can fundamentally change. So we feel like we are actively injecting that into the debate. One of the things that is different to the Socialist Alliance, for example, is our claim that we need to bring democratic ownership to, of the banking and the mining industry to fund the transition of renewable energies. You, know, you can't go around the mining industry. You know, they, pay our, they, they pay the election campaigns of the politicians. They give grants to the universities. They're friends with the people who own the private media in this country. You can't go around them, they're too big. We have to go straight through them. And only an active majority can do that. You know, which is obviously much more than us, but we want to be part of that process. Authorised by Alex Bainbridge for the Socialist Alliance Perth.